All right, guys, Steve the Car Guy. So what's been happening on this 2012 G37 uh, rear-wheel drive is I go over some bumps in the neighborhood, and this side on the driver's side rides significantly worse than it does on the other side, and I feel like there's a clunk and something's loose. So I went ahead and checked everything, did a visual inspection, tie rods, ball joints, all that stuff. I went ahead and checked all the lug nuts, and everything seems tight. So now we have to go back to looking at, like, you know, potential ball joints, tie rods, and uh, wheel hub bearings. Wheel hub bearing is what I've been suspecting. So you go 12 and 6 is supposed to look for a wheel hub bearing and or a ball joint. So I'm just grabbing it at 12 and 6. See, rocking it back and forth. Can you hear that? So what's happening is I'm driving the car and that little bit of movement that you have here, it's like boom. I mean, you really, you really feel it. And it's like, what the heck, something's wrong. And then you go 9 and 3 with your finger on the inside of the wheel here and you do the same thing. If you guys can hear if you can see that but there is some movement there so there's movement this way as well as this way so both ways are tests for a wheel bearing this one is testing for a tie rod as well and this one is testing for a ball joint usually what happens when people have these problems is they say oh there's a clunk in the car and they don't know what's going on and you do this and everything's tight the wheel is tight always you check everything everything's fine then they have to jack the car up by the control arm and you have to take a pry bar and put it in between the control arm and the suspension right there. And then if you see the play up and down on the ball joint, then you know it's a ball joint where you go ahead and you check the tie rod. And we've already made another video showing you guys how to do that. But in this case, you know, we've got the movement at 9 and 3 right here. And we've got the movement at 12 and 6. So if we've got the movement in both of them, it's got to be the wheel hub. And it, even though... See, it's not a bad wheel hub. It's not burnt out. The bearings aren't frozen. You're not hearing this constantly going on and it's not stuck or anything like that but then the other thing is is I was able to lay underneath the car over here and I found a fixed spot of a little white spot up in here on the car and then I started rotating the tire like this and I was following this center tread right here and the center the, the distance between that spot and the center tread seemed to vacillate a little bit and it seemed to go like this now that could mean that the tire is not 100% perfectly round and we all know that that's you know a lot of times rims and tires are not 100% perfectly round and that's why we have to balance tires and things like that so I did think about that but in conjunction with the fact that 12 and 6 is moving and 9 and 3 is moving right and with the clunk that I'm having and that clunk makes sense because if it's not in there properly you're hitting a bump it's always hitting that and then we have this thing right here so really seems like it's the, um, the wheel hub bearing and we checked it we did we checked everything else in the back and it all seems pretty good so I've gone ahead and ordered a wheel hub bearing for this and we're going to go ahead and uh, replace it and um, hopefully that will solve our problem so again 12 and 6 it's for wheel hub bearing and a um, ball joint and then 9 and 3 it's for a wheel hub bearing and tie rod. And since it's moving on both, that could tell you that the wheel hub, tie rod, and ball joint could all be bad, but we already placed our tie rod in this one. The tie rod, and we already checked the tie rod, and the, the ball joint on the control arm looks good. Doesn't seem to be any play in there. I kind of press it up a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, guys, see that? We can hear that. So it's definitely got to be, um, be a bad wheel hub bearing, and uh, we're going to go ahead and replace that. And hopefully that takes care of this issue. Ciao.